Okay, how we doing folks? Today is Thursday, June 23rd, 2016. Obviously, we have the NBA draft tonight, so we're going to look at that. Um, very interesting because there's just a lot of moving parts, a lot of, you know, different mock drafts, a lot of um a lot of guards between picks, you know, 3 through about 8, even if you want to go down to 3 through 10 with some forwards thrown in there. Um, you know, it, every mock draft has a guard going to, you know, different positions, different teams. Uh, you know, you might have a guy like Buddy Heald in one mock draft fifth. You might have him fourth and another, you know, a Jamal Murray third and one, a Chris Dunn a third and one, or Chris Dunn sixth and another. You know, it's just all over the place. It's almost certainly going to be Simmons one, Ingram two. Uh, not really met much of a surprise there. Um... You know, Ben Simmons certainly has some question marks. Um, we saw in college that he you know, couldn't lead this team to the tournament. Brandon Ingram, uh, personally, I think, is the better of the two. I don't think either are the best player in the draft. I happen to like Buddy Heald a lot. Now, with that being said, obviously I've been going back and forth with people about this with the Boston Celtics. It looks like they are going to draft a guard no matter what or a small forward. You know, at least a small forward is a position they're not too, too crowded at. But, um, and there was no pun intended because they already have Jay Crowder. So I wasn't trying to make that um, say crowded. But, you know, one of your better players is Jay Crowder at the small forward position. The Celtics are in desperate need of some frontline help. And it just doesn't seem like they want to address that position. I don't know why. I don't know, you know, what it may you know, what makes sense to draft a guard. Uh, we talked about, you know, what I thought they should do with the third pick. It has to turn into an immediate impact player. You draft a guard, you may lose Bradley or Marcus Smart to a trade. Even if you keep them, you're only uh, diminishing their value. You're diminishing their minutes. So there's a lot to talk about with the Celtics. Should be a lot of action at number three. Uh, I would hope they trade the pick. I can imagine a lot of teams want to try to move up. Uh, maybe the Celtics move back a couple slots. We'll have to see with that. But uh, frankly, it looks like the Celtics are just going to mess that draft pick up, to be completely honest with you. And it's a real shame. This is a team that's on the brink of really being a serious competitor, and they're going to waste this pick just drafting them to the guard. Uh, Dragon Bender, you know, you get a lot of mixed uh, talk with Bender. There are people who, you know, obviously a very raw player. There are people who really think he can, um, you know, be very good. There's some talks about bad workouts he's had of late. Uh, I see him as low as seventh in some. Obviously, you see him as high as three to the Celtics. It's it that's going to be very interesting um, where Dragon Bender goes. If he starts to fall, would a team? Let's just take the Celtics. who may have some interest in him. Let's say the Celtics draft at three. If Bender starts getting down to maybe it would probably have to go past seven where I'm looking at this draft they have him going seven or this mock draft I have him going seven to Denver what if Bender starts dropping down to you know eight nine would Boston then try to go back and get him uh using the two later round picks they have or another team for that matter uh again with this one Sacramento Kings are at eight have them taking Buddy Heald you know you see Heald going all over the place I think Heald is the best and most NBA ready player that's just me personally uh, late round picks, Denzel Valentine would probably be the best. Uh, Domitas Sabonis is also a very uh, good player. These are the mid rounds, you know, picks 14 through about 20. And even here in this mock draft, it has the Celtics yet drafting another guard. I mean, how many guards are you going to take? Uh, you know, it's it's just the Celtics are really going to screw this up drafting a guard. It's really as simple as that. But uh, you got to look at Denzel Valentine. Where is he going to go? Also, the fact that Jeff T was traded, would that uh, cause a team like Atlanta to try to trade up or take a guard at some point? So, um, you know, late round picks, and I'm talking late round is in the second round. A guy I like, you know, being from New Jersey is Isaiah Whitehead, the guard who was from Seton Hall. Uh, some people don't even have him going in the draft. I think he's got the intangibles to play, and I'd like to see him get drafted. And I think a team that can get him in the, I mean, very late second round, he might even be undrafted. Uh, you're really getting a steal with that guy. So those are other things to look for in this draft. But clearly when you get past, you know, picks, I'd say even, to, I mean, even after picks, you know, and this draft's pretty deep. You know, you have a guy like Heald or Jamal Murray who could draft all the way to eighth. Um, but usually after about five is where, 
things really get shaky as far as what you can expect from guys. I'd say this draft you may you know go to about ten. Uh, a lot of foreign players on um, projects come into the uh, equation when you get past those picks, you know the early round picks. So we'll have to see what goes on. Again, I'm looking for the Celtics to completely screw this draft up by drafting another guard, which is just a terrible pick. No one can convince me otherwise. Um, you know, and how far is Dragon Bender going to drop? And, you know, will teams try to move up to that Celtic spot? How much wheeling and dealing will be going on there? Um, you know, and where are the guards at the top? You know, the Jamal Murrays, the Chris Dunn's, the Buddy Heald's. How are they going to fall into place? Because there's different things going well. And Marquise Chris, let's see if he climb up, climbs up the, the draft. Certainly if the Celtics took him at three or traded back a couple spots to take him, I wouldn't be disappointed with that. So we'll see what goes on tonight. But NBA draft, Thursday, June 23rd. Be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much.